Hello, and uh, my name is Lauren with Planted, and I'm here to demonstrate the uh, process of planting your seed or planting your starter plants and the installation of an irrigation kit. So the first thing you need to do is look at your yard and determine the best spot. You need to consider lighting and any other uh, conditions that might affect whatever you're growing in your garden. Not only can these be used for gardening, but you can do your color spots in your yard. We have uh, a fence hanger that's available at the retail center where you purchased your bags uh, that are quick and easy to hang up and it's a great way to put a little color pop on your fence in your backyard. Once you get your bags unloaded and to a location where you want to put your garden in, you just need to lay them out on the ground and uh, put them in the shape that you want and kind of stretch them out or they're a little bit pliable and it's a really simple process. You just need to take a sharp knife, maybe a, a uh, razor knife or a pair of scissors and just go by the directions on the plant get your proper spacing it'd be the same as you would do in a row planting so on lettuce uh, I like to go about every six inches you can stagger the rows on each side of it or you can go right down the middle on lettuce I prefer to go a little on each side so all you have to do is poke a hole get your spacing on your material And then don't forget to put the holes for your irrigation kit. I just take my lettuce seeds. I like to put a couple per hole. Just push them in with your finger. Mash the material back around it. These like about a half to three quarter inch depth. Don't forget you can do your herbs or any of your kitchen spices that you want to grow for your kitchen. It's a quick, easy place to do it. It's got well-drained soil. It's very fertile, neutral pH, and makes a great little container garden for your cilantro or basil or any other cooking spices that you like. On this one, we're just gonna go right down the center. So these have been pre-soaked, so they're ready to go in. Just do the same thing. Soil's very pliable. Just use your finger. You can push it in, then just pack the soil back around it. And don't forget your irrigation holes. And next, what we're going to put in strawberries. The material that's in the bags, it's a neutral pH or about a 6.8. It's well drained, so strawberries like that type of environment. Any kind of plants like if you want to do blueberries or blackberries something that prefers slightly acidic soil you can plant it in the bags just like we're doing here but when you're finished just take some pine straw and mulch over the bags with the pine straw and that pine straw will give a little acidity to the soil and make those plants really flourish so anytime you're doing pre-potted plants this is in a little peak cup so it can be planted in the cup helps if the soil's a little bit wet if it's been dry in the nursery center the soil may be a little hard to to get uh, pushed to the side and hold its position so maybe wet the bag a little bit before you start this just push a little hole push your strawberries down in there or whatever plant and there you go just keep repeating this until we get all of them in about six inches is good on strawberries it won't grow a whole lot there's plenty of room in this bag for <clears throat> The roots on just about any vegetable garden plant, uh, tomatoes, bell peppers, jalapenos, zucchini, squash, any, any type of garden plant that you can think of does well in the bag. One of the nice things about the garden in a bag is if your conditions change and you put your plants in the wrong spot, it's real easy to just pick it up and move it to a place with better sunlight, less sunlight, if it's too hot, too cold. Another advantage of growing in a bag like this is you get an earlier start on the growing season because you're above ground. You don't have to wait for soil temperatures to come up. And this will allow the bag to absorb sunlight and warm the soil up so you can get a little head start on the growing season. The irrigation kit will be Available at your retail center where you purchased your bags. It'll have 20 foot of drip line in it, garden hose connector, 
a few elbows and tees so that you can make any design you like. It's a polyvinyl tubing. It has emitters every six inches, which is the little hump in the hose. So you want to cut between those humps whenever you're cutting so that you can not destroy one of the emitters. And then you just simply got to snake the tubing through the bag. These will put out about four tenths of a gallon per hour. So 15 or 20 minutes is really all that's needed to wet the bag. And this actually ends up conserving water because you only use a few gallons of water to water your garden. This way you have nice, even, low water usage, very well controlled, right in the root zone of the plant. Inside the kit, you'll find a couple of plugs and they just simply plug into the end of the tube like that. You'll find a garden hose adapter. Ensure that you have the gasket in there so you don't have any leaks. Go back to the beginning of the bag, got the tubing, install your hose adapter, and now you're ready to water your garden. So you just need to turn your garden hose on to a, to a slow trickle. It doesn't have to be at high pressure. And as you can see, the water trickling out of this emitter here. This tubing will do about 20 foot of garden sock before you have to uh, add another line. We'll water this garden here for about two or three minutes and that'll be good for the day. And a couple of quick tips for you. Any kind of running plant like this ice plant makes a great border planting for a sidewalk or a patio or any other area that you don't really want to till or put in a permanent bed. Another tip for you is in hot temperatures, just like any other uh, flower bed, be sure to mulch your bags with uh, whatever color mulch you like to use. It uh, reduces your watering and will keep the plant roots cooler and uh, your plants thriving through the hot parts of the year. Thanks and send us your projects to www.orderplanted.com. Share your success stories with the product and what kind of creative ways that you came up with using the bags. Really your imagination's the limit.